Good morning Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your February love reading. What's going on with Aquarius for love? You know, what's coming next for Aquarius as far as your love situation? Okay, let's take a look. Aquarius, we have two cards that wanted to jump out. We have nourish your body with high vibrating energy. So being positive, having a positive focus, raising your vibration, I feel like it's going to be very beneficial for you. You may be feeling down. You may be feeling at a lower vibration at the moment. So raising your vibration is going to be very helpful. We also have look for the signs and synchronicities. So you could be seeing signs. You could be seeing numbers that are very important to you. Um, you could be seeing... Um, signs and synchronicities such as 1111 like what's in the picture 1111 are angel numbers this means that you're being angel guided you're being protected through your journey your angels are guiding you down the path that you're leading down the path that you're going uh, you could also see other numbers like 222, 333, 444. Go ahead and Google those numbers so that you can get a better understanding of what the angel numbers mean for you. Whatever numbers that you're seeing. There's also other synchronicities. Uh, so if you're seeing more numbers on a occasional basis, go ahead and Google those numbers. See what those numbers mean. Those numbers have meaning. They have angel meaning for you okay let's get some more cards for aquarius okay spirit what can we tell aquarius what messages do we have for aquarius for the love situation in february what messages do we have for aquarius relationships so if you're not currently in a relationship, Aquarius, I feel like you have this on your mind. I feel like relationships is a really good focus for you at the moment. I am attracting those people who serve my higher good. Now, as you put yourself in a higher vibration, I feel like you're going to see this focus more clearly. You're going to see... Um, what's actually coming, what's around the corner. At the bottom, we have surrender. So I feel like Spirit wants to let you know that you may need to surrender to the situation. There may be, there may be some introspection that needs to happen. You know, surrendering to the divine, letting the universe do its work, letting your angels guide you along your journey. I need to release my need to control. And I feel like that's very important for you right now, Aquarius. We can't control every aspect of our life. Some, some things are controlled by the universe, by the higher power. So I feel like sometimes we just have the need to just let go of the reins and just let, you know, the universe, the higher power, God, be the driver you know let them deliver us wherever we're about to go because i feel like you know no matter where you think your journey's going on i feel like god and higher power the universe has a totally different journey expected for you you know that's just like that saying if you want to see god laugh tell him what you have planned because, you know, he sees all of your plans. He sees what's going on. And he knows exactly where you're going and exactly where you've been. So, yeah, that, yeah. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, what else do we have for Aquarius? I feel like there is something that you're leaving behind. There's something that you're moving away from, Aquarius. We have the Six of Swords. Definitely 
you're moving away from a situation. You've let something go. This may be an old relationship. This may be your past that you're letting go of. You may be letting go of old beliefs that you know no longer work in your life. But I feel like you're moving away from this situation. This is something that you've already let go of, that you're working on letting go of. Uh, but I feel like you're moving away from the situation and you're moving into more happiness, more abundance. This is more family time, I feel. Um, I feel like this is a very happy card. You're moving in the right direction, Aquarius. You're moving away from something that gave you a lot of pain, that was likely holding you back in some aspect, and you're moving away from that. And you're moving into your happiness. You're moving into something better, something bigger, something brighter. Beautiful energy. We have the Ace of Wands. So you're definitely starting on this new beginning, Aquarius. There's definitely some kind of spark that's happening within you. This could also be you taking inspired action to move towards something that you know is going to bring you a lot of growth. Now, underneath the Ten of Swords, we have the Death card. So I feel like you're transforming. This is you sort of going through the... You put this situation to an end. This situation is done and over. And now you're transforming. You're beginning all over again. This is a, a big changes after hard endings. You know, that's what I'm feeling with this card. It's kind of like a, a rebirth or a moving on period, a reawakening. I feel like this is very strong energy. Wow. Something that you're moving away from. Are you moving away from old beliefs or an old relationship that gave you a lot of pain? Um, but I feel like whatever the situation is, we have the Five of Wands. So I feel like, you know, once you go through this transformation, you're going through this rebuilding phase. You're going through bringing your confidence back up to level. You know, bringing your self-assurance. Building yourself up. Maybe changing your appearance. Um, really focusing on what makes you, you. Definitely. You're really focusing on this new beginning, this new transformation. We have the Seven of Swords. So Aquarius, I do have to tell you, I feel like this is someone. I feel like this Seven of Swords is someone's energy around you. And this may be the person that you're letting go of. I feel like this Seven of Swords, they're not gone yet though. They're still here. They're still around you. They're looking at you. They are focused on taking something from you. Someone is trying your patience, Aquarius. And I feel like they're like looming around, just spying on you. But I feel like you already know this energy. The Queen of Wands, she's very attractive. She's very noticeable. You can recognize her in a room. You know, I feel like she has this fire, this spark. And it's so interesting that you would have this Queen of Wands right underneath the Ace of Wands. With this new beginning, you have inspiration. You have this new spark. This could also be a new beginning of someone coming into your life. Someone coming in to change your life. Someone who's going to change your perspective. Inspire your actions. I feel like this is someone that's making you feel renewed. Someone who's bringing a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Yes, and I definitely feel like this person is bringing a lot of truth. This person is bringing very strong communication. I feel like this is communication that's... It's kind of non-stop. I kind of see you communicating, maybe talking and hanging up and talking again. 
you know, or I feel you texting. And before, before you can reply to this person, they're still texting again. You know, they have more to say. They have a lot they want to communicate. So I feel like there's a lot of communication coming in for you. There's someone who really, really wants to be heard. They really want to speak their truth. They want you to take notice. Definitely they want you to take notice. We have the hangman energy. So the hangman is aware. They're changing their perspective because they're letting go of these old beliefs. I feel like this is also you kind of surrendering to the divine and letting the the divine take the wheel. Um, but I feel like this is very good energy for you, Aquarius. I feel like you're getting you're gaining a lot of clarity on the situation with the hangman being right next to the ace of swords. And I also feel like you have learned all the lessons. You figured out how things work and how you actually plan them to work, I feel. Um, let's see, I have a bunch of cards that jumped out. Let's take a look. I have one more card I can't get to. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Definitely. This is love coming in for you. Wow. Wow. Okay. We have the King of Wands. So this is definitely someone coming in with a fire, with a boldness, someone who is very assertive. I feel like this person, this person is coming to you and they're like joking with you, but they're, they're like trying to get you to react, trying to see how you are going to react to them. But I feel like... In a playful way, they're asking you, you know, why don't you go out with me or this or that or, you know, I'll meet you after work or I'll meet you here. I feel like this person is coming off in a very playful manner, but I don't believe they're playing. I believe that they're kind of seeing how you are reacting to what they're saying to see if you're interested. I feel like this person is very curious and they're very they have a great sense of humor you know um but i feel like this person has some sort of spark that makes them very noticeable i feel like this person is also very attractive look the king of wands is right next to the queen of wands so i feel like this is new passion coming about this is some kind of interaction that you're going to have I feel like this is the spark of an attraction to each other. You, If you take a look, look how the queen is looking at the king. She's noticing him. He's sitting there boldly and she's recognizing him. She's like, oh, this, this guy is attractive. You know, he's catching my attention. And I feel like that's kind of what's going on. We have the queen of cups. So I definitely feel like this is some kind of situation that's going to bring a lot more uh, love to your life. I feel like this is also nurturing and kind of a healing kind of emotion. Because I feel like this person's humor is just so infectious. It like, I feel like you're absorbing their humor. You're ex... <laughs> You are taking what they're saying and it's like lifting you up. It's like building your confidence, boosting your ego, you know. Um, but I feel like this person, this king, of, this king of wands, this could be a male or a female. I feel like they're boosting your confidence because they're interested. They want to communicate with you. They want you to take a chance on them because we have the knight of cups. I feel like this person is making you some sort of offer. They're making you an invitation to go out with them, 
to talk with them, to get to know them better. You know, and I feel like this King of Wands is really putting you as a spotlight. They're like boosting you up as a spotlight, you know. You kind of feel very important when they're in the room because I feel like this King of Wands energy, anytime they see you, you like lock eyes, you know. Um, they kind of catch you as you're walking into a room. If you take notice, you'll, you'll like see them watch you walk into a room. And I really feel like this King of Wands is letting you know that they're there to support you. They're there to defend you. And I feel like that's what this King of Wands is doing. I feel like they're, they want to defend. They want to protect the Seven of Wands, this is also very competitive energy, which can also come off as very playful. You know, they're competing in some kind of sport. Um, but I feel like with this energy, I feel like they more or less want to um, protect you. They're like defending off people who may say something about you, you know. We have the Justice card. Wow. So I really feel like with this Justice Justice card, this is karma coming around. But I really feel like this Justice card is you wanting to take advantage of this. Wanting to take a second look. Wanting this to go your way. I feel like you're very interested in this person as well, Aquarius. Very interesting. Let's see. We have the Five of Wands. Nope, that's the Ten of Wands. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. But look at this Ten of Wands. They're not carrying the burden. They've laid all the burdens down. Now they're just standing there watching and just taking it in. You know, they're not focused on being burdened or seeing problems or any delays. This person is just relaxing. They're sitting. They're resting. They're not thinking about anything else but the work that they've already done. They're, they're looking at the harvest, you know. They're kind of focused on that harvest coming in. Tens are a card of completion as well. So I feel like with this Ten of Wands, I feel like this Ten of Wands is letting you know to lay down your burdens and just go with the flow of the situation. And I feel like that's going to be the most abundant for you. You know, we have the Five of Cups. So Aquarius. I feel like with this Five of Cups, I feel like I feel like you are freely letting this go and you're ready to look at these cups behind you. Cause look look at his face. He's looking down, but he's looking kind of behind. So he's kind of noticing the these cups that are still full. And he's not really looking at the cups that have emptied. He's looking down. But if you look at him, he's looking towards those two cups behind him. So he's still seeing the things that he has. He's still seeing the gifts that are still around him. You know, and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're kind of moving past disappointment. You're moving past that feeling of disappointment. And I feel like you're being more uplifted. This situation is opening your mind. It's feeling like you're being let out of the box. You know, the Page of Cups, this is out of box thinking. This is believing the impossible is possible. You know, having that cup in that and the and the fish he's also daydreaming or he's imagining um is this for real or is this all an illusion 
And I feel like that's kind of where you're going with this. Is this for real? Is this person for real? You know, or is it all an illusion? Are they just playing or the, are they for real? Do they really mean what they say? Do they really like me or are, are they just playing? You know, I feel like that's where you're going with the situation. It's very kind of immature and child childlike but i feel like you know that's exactly what's going on i feel like this person may have a humor that's very immature or very childlike but i feel like this person their humor is very welcoming their humor is what's really made you notice them you know we have the seven of pentacles no it's the eight of pentacles so I feel like with this situation with the Eight of Pentacles, I really feel like this is something that you're enjoying. You're really enjoying the interaction that you have with this person, kind of like the back and forth. Um, I feel like you really feel like you're putting on a pedestal when this person talks to you. They really see you as a spotlight. You know, and I feel like this is a feeling that you really don't want to move away from you. This is a feeling that you're, you're maybe having a hard time taking in because you really don't know if this person is for real or not. But I feel like, I feel like you're willing to give it a try, Aquarius, to be totally honest. I feel like you really want to know more information. He's coming out of that boredom, you know, and he's like emptying his emotions because he's been sitting there unsatisfied for too long. So now he's coming out of that unsatisfaction and he's pouring out his emotions from his cup. So I feel like that's kind of what you're doing, Aquarius. You're kind of pouring out your emotions. You're getting away from that feeling of being unsatisfied. And you're looking at more satisfaction. You're looking at more enjoyment. Definitely. We have the Six of Cups. There's a lot of cups here. So there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of feelings that are being expressed in this reading. So I feel like with the Six of Cups energy, this could be someone around you who's trying to come back. This could be this Ten of Swords that you have let go of. But now this, this Six of Cups sees you in a totally different light. And now they want to come back into the situation. But I don't feel like you're even ready or willing to accept them. Because I feel like you feel like that's too much drama. That's too much conflict coming into my life. I feel like we're going to have words. We're going to have arguments. You know, that's something that you really want to walk away from so i feel like whatever this six of cups energy is i feel like you're walking away from this energy you're not even taking it in okay aquarius now let's take a look let's take a look at some love cards let's get some energy for you aquarius let's get some energy for you we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And I feel that's exactly what you're looking for, Aquarius. You're looking for more joy in your life. You're looking for that one who is not going to turn their back on you. And we have look inside yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. So there's something that needs to be looked at. You know, there's some kind of feelings that you're having that need to be readdressed. They need to be put to rest. You know, for your person, we have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Like I said, I feel like this person 
who's coming into your life. This King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy is a free spirit. I feel like they don't take things at face value. They kind of see things in their own realistic way. And I feel like it's very enlightening for you. We also have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Yeah, I do feel like there's a lot of sexual attraction with this person. I feel like you and this person have a mutual attraction. Okay. At the bottom we have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So, after your pain and sorrow has evaporated, Aquarius, I feel like that's when you're going to see your blessing. That's when your blessing is going to come through. Let's get some more love cards for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. What's going on with Aquarius? Spirit. We have love call. Definitely, that's what I'm, I was feeling. I feel like you're on the phone with this person. I feel like they want to communicate. I, I feel like they have a lot of things to communicate. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. Let's get a card for your person. Tell me about the person, spirit. Okay, we got two. Okay. We have watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So I definitely feel like this person is watching you. Like I said, I feel like this person sees you as soon as you enter a room. They see you. They're attracted to everything about you. We also have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, nar nar narcissistic, <laughs> one-sided relationship, love bombing. Okay, now with this card, I do feel like this person may be a little self-absorbed. I will say that because of the humor that I feel like this person possesses. I feel like they may be a little narcissistic. Um, when it comes to how they feel about themselves and their confidence. I feel like this person is very confident, very outgoing. And I feel like it's going to take you on a very big journey if you decide to go on this journey with this person. At the bottom we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out. Things come into light. Adapt change and heal so I definitely feel like this situation is going to change there's definitely some healing going on here and I feel like there may be certain things that you have to adapt to Aquarius I'm not gonna lie um, because I feel like this person is a lot to handle this person <laughs> is very fun to be around like I said I feel like they're very humorous they have a great personality. I feel like this person is very outgoing and spontaneous. Um, but like I said, they could be a little narcissistic on um, the side. Yeah. Um, but I feel like this is, yes, this is a, a huge change from maybe what you've been going through. And I feel like it's a very welcoming change. Let's get a little bit of clarifying here for Aquarius. Give me some more messages for Aquarius spirit. Yes, see we have the Six of Swords again. So I feel like this old energy you're definitely moving away from. You're definitely moving away from this old energy. And you're expanding into this new energy. Look at this. You're expanding into your healing. You're expanding into feeling more balanced, more nourished. Yeah, if I'm not correct, I feel like this is double confirmation for the Six of Swords energy and the Star energy. This person is placing you in a spotlight. This person sees you 
and all that you are you know i feel like this is healing this is balance this is you nourishing you know your soul this is beautiful energy look at this aquarius this is something that is meant from heaven this is something that you're manifesting something that you're creating you're bringing this down to earth you're bringing this event into reality I feel like this may be someone that you've been waiting for. This is someone who's going to bring you a lot of happiness with this Ten of Cups energy. A lot of happiness is coming your way. So, Aquarius. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I'll have them uploaded within the next couple days. So uh, check back and you will see more messages for your other signs. Um, and until the next reading, Aquarius, many blessings to you, love, and light.